Hi, in this video we are going to see how to create and operate a virtual machine in VMware Cloud Director. A virtual machine is a software computer running on an ESXi host. A virtual machine can run an operating system and its applications from a wide variety of operating systems available, be it Windows, Linux or any other operating system. It can consume hardware resources for compute and networking. Connecting the virtual machine to a network and placing it onto a specific storage enables cloud providers or tenants to have a self-service IT platform. A virtual machine in VMware Cloud Director can be a standalone machine or it can be a part of a vApp. Let's create a virtual machine. Log in as an organization administrator or any other user with proper rights to create a VM. Select the data center in which you want to create a VM. From the left hand menu, select virtual machines under compute section. Click on new VM. You can create a virtual machine either from a vApp template, stored in a catalog or from scratch. In this demonstration, we will create a VM from scratch. Provide the name of the VM. You can choose to power on the machine as soon as it is created or leave it powered off until you have confirmed all your settings. Select the operating system. Provide the boot image and boot options. Please note that the ISO image for, or the boot image for this machine needs to be already uploaded in the catalog by the user with appropriate rights. You can either choose EFI or BIOS. Provide the storage policy for this VM. Make sure you provide the right amount of disk space for the VM to install the operating system. You can choose to provide the network information now or it can be added later. It's recommended to add network configurations later after installing VMware tools on the VM and enabling guest OS customization. Once the machine is created, click on the name of the machine and see the details. You can edit a number of details once the machine is created. You can edit the general details. You can change the name, storage details and even boot options for this machine. You can change the disk space of the VM. If you are editing the disk space while the machine is running, you need to restart the machine for the changes to take effect. You can review and change the network settings by clicking on NICs. You may enable guest OS customization for the changes in NICs to take effect. You can share this VM with other users and edit the metadata of the VM. You can also monitor the tasks and events of the VM. The list of actions that can be performed on this VM is also available under the All Actions tab on the top. You can power on or off the machine, suspend it or reset it. You can renew the lease of this machine if it's expired. You can create a snapshot of the machine and launch various consoles. Once the machine is created, you should install VMware tools on it for various networking and graphic functions. You can move or copy this machine to other VM. You can change the owner of the VM, create a template from this VM or convert it into a VM. Let's power on the machine. Once the machine is powered on, you can log into the machine using VM console. You can now install VMware tools on it. A virtual machine can also be deleted. To delete a machine, it needs to be powered off. This concludes this demonstration. Thank you for watching.